on, on the beat. To our dear loving mother, Reverend Mother Betty Gay, we, the Jada Gospel Artists, wish you a peaceful transition into glory. May the Lord of Zion receive you with gladness into his kingdom. Well done. You fought a good fight, a fight of faith. You ran the race to the finish line. Rest well in glory, mother. Enjoy your glorious stay in your heavenly mansion. Farewell, mother. I will. So we are just come. Our son left for yesterday, and we bless God that as the way they told us that the road God has made it possible for us. Mm -hmm. So they are saying that we will reach the body. We did we are now we take our things. Okay. Okay. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says with God all things are possible. And even when the righteous die, all the good, good things will follow that righteous. And we are seeing with our own eyes because of our belief coming on the road to reach by this time with our human mind. It was not possible. But we thank God for the church, for 24th Street, Good News AG Church, even the entire district, including our national church, for safely bringing the body over, headed by Mother Quartis and Mother Monit and our dear brothers. We will give God the glory. What the Bible says, in everything we should give thanks. Yeah. And so, thank God for your safe arrival in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we want to use this time to say to Mother Kwate, Mother Wob, uh, Wandi, Wandi mm -hmm. and all your team members, we want to use this time to praise God for your safe arrival. Because when we look at the real condition, for us, we are even thinking about maybe tomorrow before you arrive. And through the help of God, you are able to arrive safely. We want to give God the glory for you. And also, we say thank you for bringing the body of our late mother, Betty, you gay in Grand Jeter County on this mission, AG mission, where she used to be to glorify God. So we say thank you for coming. We praise God for even uh, the, our national leaders, the 24th Street Assemblies of God Church for their contributions and everything that they did by the grace of God to bring the body of our late mother. We say, we say thanks to all of them and thank God that all of you have been around. We at this present. Okay. Please come. All right. So we receive the body full heartedly as district, Chien district, Assemblies of God Church. We we are trusting God so that. The home going of our mother will be done according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And so we say to all of you, you are welcome. This is your city, this is your church, and let's work together so that everything will be done successfully. Thank you very much. Yeah. So uh, after you are taking your things down, then we will take the body from here to Ebenezer, where the, the body will be kept until the proper time set yeah, for removal. Thank you. <laughs>
to our dear loving mother, Reverend Mother Betty Gay. We, the Jada Gospel Artists, wish you a peaceful transition into glory. May the Lord of Zion receive you with gladness into his kingdom. Well done. You fought a good fight, a fight of faith. You ran the race to the finish line. Rest well in glory, mother. Enjoy your glorious stay in your heavenly mansion. Farewell, mother. I will. We believe that this is a time of revival. Mm -hmm. We don't see it as a money period. No. Like I was saying this morning, we were in Monrovia, we heard a lot of voice of inspiration. We are blessed. Sometimes we go back and think on the things the old man used to say concerning the church. We could not understand at the time, but now it starts to be clear. Yeah. Yes. A summary of God did not even give the woman gold and diamond, but they added a lot of value and honor to her name. Yes. And so, we are so happy at this time as a family. Mm. From Morovia, if you see Ente Moyu and Pastor Quartes here, when they told us that this valley is anointed. And so they will not even turn it over to the family. He told them, say, you turn it over to Reverend Tali. We will turn it over to Reverend Doa. Even the, the funeral cell will hire him in Morovia. He said he won't know licensed ministers that will read scripture reading. So, so, ordained ministers. So, when we come here, we know that we come home to our family. So thank you so much. 
we came with all our people to the house that is very, very packed. And so we see now that the food has been turned over to us, whether we will carry home and what we will do, we will get back to you. So I think it's a time for all of us to rejoice in the Lord. For those of us that were present, we knew that our home glory was a glorious one. Yes. So we want for all of us to work as one now that we have come to the very end so that God can make everything tidy. We are all been contacting you, everything we've been talking to you. We are doing all the pastors that are here, we say oh, thank you. AG was in Morovia, AG is in Chile. In Jesus' name. Amen. We came with our mother. She had been crying so much. The Reverend Tyler was saying this morning, say you've been with man every step of the way. So it's so, so difficult for her. But we know that God will make her strong. So she, she will have something to say. And then we will, if we, we want to do it, I think it will be fun for us to be with all the pastors they say. Mm. I think that what we we'll do. Okay, sister. Praise the Lord. On behalf of the the, the Bible and the gay, I want to say thank you very much. Thank the AG family. The best family we have now is our Christian family. Yeah. They are the best. Because they understand and we understand the way that we travel. Mm. And so I know God is in control. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's difficult. But my own Bible voice always tell me, Psalm 15, 15, called upon me in the days of trouble. Mm -hmm. I will deliver you and thou shalt glorify me. Yeah. It's about time for me to call on God so that he will restore that peace within us. So I want to say thank you. My belly is in heaven. Mm -hmm. We are left on the face of the earth. And it is our time to work hard mm -hmm. so that one day we can see each other. We tell God, thank you that you didn't forget our tradition, mm -hmm. that we all can pull hands together and eat together. May the Lord continue to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Put both hands together to eat. You must cry first. After we finish crying. Yeah. And she was there when she said it. Yeah, so thank God that she cried. <laughs> <laughs> Prophecy have been fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah. we know, Lord, that you have blessed the food already. And so we thank you for blessing the food. Let it be good in the body of all that will participate. Take your glory and share with no matters. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
Yeah.
Wow. You can't be chanting hallelujah and be sitting on your seat. You got to be standing up, standing up, warming yourself up, warming yourself up. Whether you go or you young, stand on your feet and get going. If you come from Moody, you make it big time. We are here tonight for a serious revival. When a servant of God said God, and God called a servant home, a long time to move, a long time to be sitting down, to be feeling so sorrowful, it's time to jubilate, it's time to rejoice. Because we know when the righteous die, the righteous is present in heaven with the Father. So if you know that I know that you know and I know, tonight get set for celebration. Praise the Lord. I'm your seat.
of Sterling to welcome in the body of Reverend Mother Do Bill.
the Reverend Wendy Glenn, District Superintendent, Chair of the District. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Can we see them? Our general secretary and representative of the team district, Reverend Emmanuel K. Zidane, the Christian Council leader, Reverend Edelman Zulu, District Executive, Ministers of the Gospel, both Mongolia, the Chen District, the Beirut family, sympathizers, prior members, both Dalit and English, Christian, Brothers and sisters, tonight I want to use this time to welcome all of you in this edifice in the chapel. Tonight I want you to know that we have come to celebrate the homeborn of our apostle. Church mentor, evangelist, musician, counselor, mother, the late Betty Ibuke. As we have come to, to celebrate tonight, let us worship the Lord. I want us to worship the Lord that the Lord be honored. It is the Lord who deserves the glory. And so as we have come here tonight, let us worship the Lord in true and spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this is a place that if you are confused, if you are downhearted, you can be comforted. You can hear from God and God will speak to you. And so tonight, let us turn everything over to the Almighty God who will help us as we go through. And so once again, I say welcome to Chien District, to Eden Chapel. Let us celebrate Jesus tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. We call on Reverend Harry Bishon, former district superintendent of Chiang District, for the location. The presence of God here tonight in our midst. We also want to recognize the General Secretary of the Service of God. And Nigeria, Remy, my case, the senior. Recognize Remy Willie Doe, head of the TN District Service of God, and members of the District Executive. We also want to recognize the presence of the President of Rajiko Grand Gillian Christian Council, the presence of T. Winner Zulu. The members of the OD Minister here on the platform, deacons and deaconesses, the choir church, brothers and sisters in Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we pray, we want to read a scripture taken from Psalm 46, from 1 to 4. Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help 
in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the oil be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roll and trouble, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams thereof shall make by the city of God the holy place of the tabernacle of the most high. Shall we all stand, please? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you tonight because your word says that in everything we should give you thanks. We are here in your presence. On the blood of Jesus, on his protection, we thank you tonight for the descending angels of glory. We thank you, Lord, and commit into your hands every activity to be undertaken this night from the beginning to the end. Lord, that you yourself will direct us. We thank you. We bless you for prayer and serve this we have in Jesus' name. As I said, time is not in our favor. Those of you that have tribute, I want to pay tribute tonight. Please find the consuelo at the back. And let him write your name down. Then we'll be calling. We'll go by the list, bit by bit, because we don't want to be confusing things. We want for things to bring on all of them. All right, let us move on. Before I call on the Chief District Mass Choir, the Dalit Mass Choir, before I call on the Dalit Mass Choir, I have the honor to call on to call on Mr. Jonathan Gay Chowson to introduce the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Alpha. Hello Vega. I'm not crying for my mother. 
There are a lot of things that I am crying about. My mama once told me, she said, every month, my daughter, I get two, two days to fast and pray for my children. Tonight we are here again to thank God for his goodness in the life of our family. And so we want to take this time to introduce our family members that are here tonight, that are seated right in this middle. We have all come to celebrate the whole glory of our mom so that you can see them and know them in Jesus' name. Amen. We have our mother who have come from a very, very far distant mistress, Patricia Wablo. She is the minister of the Liberian Assemblies of God. She has come from the United States, passed through Monrovia, and is here tonight to celebrate this special woman with all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. And then we have our oldest brother who is here with us tonight. And all of us here know him or one way or the other have heard that name. And he is Mr. Jonathan K. Jewett. He has come from the United States. He is the captain of the U.S. Army. And he is a son to our Reverend Mother in Jesus' name. And then is the smallest speaking. The smallest speaking. He is Mr. Hansen K. And most of us know him to be Moist Alpha. He is a musician. He always singing. Hallelujah. Amen. We have right there is our mama, Mother Beatrice Pablo. She comes right after the Reverend Mother. She is the one that is here now with us. And we want for the whole assembly of God to continue to work with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Right beside her is our father. Mr. Afriki, we want to recognize you, Papa. We have been standing beside us just as a father from the beginning. And right beside is his wife, Jesse K. God bless you. Right behind them, a who come right after Jonathan K. Chui. And that is a daughter of the Reverend Dieter, who are all home to rest. Hallelujah. And the next person there, the whole chair district over, she the one here representing us, and that is our sister Rebecca Gay. God bless you so much. And when you see right behind there, our family, our cousins, our nieces, our nephews, they have all come so that all of us can lay mama to rest. We are here because she came she fought and she conquered. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have come to celebrate her. We are here in this bedroom. We'll be going back to town. If you don't understand anything, if you need anything, contact any of these family members. It will be explained to you. That's my name. Thank you so much. Progress. Bring it before um, the Crown Mass Choir. While well, Rev is here studying, is going to prepare for the scripture reading from this superintendent team this week.
name of Jesus. Please be informed that according to the approval of this program, all the activities have been cut off. So what you are expecting to, to see, if you don't see it, hold your hand, follow us to Babylon, you will see it. Thank you. Pregnant will recognize the former district superintendent, the Reverend C.S. Stalin of Scripture reading, while Echo is getting prepared to raise our offering. Hallelujah! We take this time to recognize the presence of the God of Reverend Mother Bethe Ibuke. It is this God who has made it possible for us all to be here tonight. This place should have been packed to capacity in all the world. People are supposed to be standing all around the building. But because of uh, the time we are in, coronavirus, this is why some people tonight, they are not here. But we want to be thankful to God for those of you who are here. In Jesus' name! We take this time to say all the gospel ministers, leaders of the church, and all children of God, you are recognized. I don't want to take time tonight to be recognizing people one by one that are still not here. So we we'll say all people of God in Jesus' name. One of the favorite reference or scripture that our mother that God has for home love to read or sometimes recite part of it is what we're going to read from in the Old Testament and that is Psalm number 91. We are not going to read all in just the start to verse 8. Psalm number 91. I give you three seconds to turn to Psalm number 91, or if you have the mobile phone, you can look at it very quickly. Okay. I read. I'm reading from the NIV. He who dwells in the shadow of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say that the Lord he is my breath and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fallen step and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rubbish. You will not fear the terror of night. Nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stop in the darkness, nor the plague that destroyed at midday. A thousand may fall at the side, ten thousand at the right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. I want to give you the cargo. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent. The word of the Lord, the God bless his word and sanctify it for our hearts in Jesus' name. Most of the Lord, Lord Jesus. It's offering time. Pray that we'll go to the airport. The Lord will lead those who have trust in the Lord. In Jesus' name.
Mr. Jonathan B. Chowley for the reading of the last text. Jubu Breaker K was born on June 1st, 1932, in Bagatan, Bao Chica, Grand Jigia County, Republic of Liberia, unto the blessed union of Paramount Chief Willie Bagler and Mistress Mary Bagler, both deceased. She started her primary school in 1942 in Totam. The tutors of her uncle, the famous educator, the late Benjamin Collins. In 1945, she and her older brother, Francis Baum Butler, were awarded scholarships by the President of the Republic of Liberia, the late William T. S. Tuckman, to continue their schooling in Kipamas. When relationship between the paramount chief William Bagdam and the Liberian government he tolerated to an unreconcilable level. He left Liberia and went into self-imposed exile to neighboring Africa with most of his family members. Young Betty had no choice but to drop from school and go with her father. Thus breaking to an end of quest for an education at that time. Upon her return to her motherland in 1965, she met and married her late husband, Johnny Gay. This union is regarded by many as a match made in heaven. Her late husband, Johnny Gay, who was a member all the dead Liberian Assemblies of God, now Assemblies of God, Liberia, introduced her to the church. After they met, Johnny was a gifted singer, and he introduced and tutored his wife in becoming the most renowned inspirational crown gospel singer. Besides introducing her to singing, Johnny, who was and for being minister of the Liberia Assemblies of God and the chaplain in the armed forces of Liberia, also taught his wife the Bible how to preach it. It did not take long for the student to become master of the game. And by the late 1970s, Betty Gay has become a singer and a preacher within her own right. In 1981, she enrolled at the Assemblies of God Bible Institute in Chien Bishri, Zuechu, Grand Jira County, and graduated in 1986 with a diploma in theological studies. In 1984, while at the Bible school, she accompanied her spiritual father and mentor, the late Reverend C.O. Yah, for medical treatment in Morovia. It was during this trip she was inspired by God to start a church in which the Crown people can worship in Morovia. As evident that it was truly God that led her on this quest, the fellowship that she started in the living room of Colonel Washington, their new garden in October 1984, now the Good News Assemblies of God formerly 24th Street Assemblies of God Church in St. Paul, Morovia. Besides being a preacher, she was also an evangelist and church planter. In addition to the 24th Street of Good News Assemblies of God, Reverend Benigay also planted churches in Zaitan, Babatan, Popatan, Plo, and Bo, and other parts of Liberia and the Africans. She is preceded in death by her loving husband, Reverend Captain Johnny G. D. Gay. Her parents, Paramount Chief Willie Bagler and Mary Bagler. Siblings, Zai Bagler, Moses, Moses Bagler, Tababu, David Bagler, Zine, 
France Bata Bau, Ye Afra Bata Sofia, Kam Bata, Mere Bata Sepi, Kam Susi Bata, K Fatu, Esa Bata Flobo, and Nandu Bata, Nephews and Nieces, Joseph Bata, Godfrey Bata, Teresa Bata, Sarah Bata, and Eroja's partner. Her granddaughter, Desiree Dare, and her son, William Nyate Gay. Remy Gay is survived by her eight children, Oren, Ejeni, Rebecca, Johnny, Ernest, Deborah, Naomi, and Moise, commonly known as Ansa. Five siblings, Beatrice, Orita, Jesse, Soplei, and Patricia. Twenty grandchildren, Patient Gay, Grace Gay Yema, Chandra Gay, Blessed Gay, Nizi Dead we get, Dayan Talu, Shelley Jolo, Ina Alpha, Miriam Alpha, Abraham Alpha, Queen Rai, Master Rai, Jonathan Lopa Gageway, Christine Jubel Gageway, Daniel Gageway, Dick, Desire Gageway, Jethro Henderson, Jenny's Henderson, Shadrach K Alpha, Naomi Alpha, Aunt Betty Alpha, PK Zia, and George Daddy, and 14 great grandchildren, nephew and nieces, Emma Bada, Afonso Bada, Medina Bada Dennis, Harrison Bada, Richard Bada, Ruth Bada, Rebecca Bada, Richard Dixon, Francis Bader, Thomas Brown, Wendy Brown, Barney, Devontae Brown Gay, Cedar Bader, Lincoln Bader, Princeton Bader, Eric Bader, Serena Bader, Ophelia Chain, Princeton Bader, Manson Bader, Boye Bader, and Wally Bader. Because of her love for God and her commitment to his kingdom, Reverend Gay formed a special bond and friendship with people that she worked with and over the years in the Lord's area. Some of her close friends and colleagues include Reverend Celia, Reverend Robert Mesler, Reverend Jimmy K. Dube, Reverend Ernest David, Mother Emily Brown, Reverend Thomas P. Wiesen, Reverend Samuel Bailey, the Broughton family, the Tisha family, Mother Mary Grant, Mother Beatrice Zim, Mother Martha Bowie, Mother Esther Camille, Mother Esther Bow, Mother Mary Gatte, Mother Sarah Baye, Mother Lucy Drew, Mother Esther Dennis, Mount Sarah Rama, Mother Mary Proa, Reverend John Wailo, Reverend William Drew, Reverend Solomon Tui, Reverend John Fale, Reverend Blackie Godu, Reverend Wilson Koso, Reverend Samuel To. Reverend Sammy Brown, Mount Jesse Brown, Reverend Jeremiah Jado, Pastor Thomas Glew, Mother Cecilia Collins, Reverend Paul Myers, Pastor Ami Glenye, Pastor James Go, Reverend Ellen Sidney, Pastor Teresa Sidney, Pastor Joy Zion, Reverend Moses T, Reverend George Ryan, Reverend Harris Daddy, Reverend David Talley, Reverend Clement S. Talley, Reverend Henry D. Soong, Pastor Robert and Nessie Barkley, Mother Bethe Freeman, Mother Annie Vonte, Mother Mary Soong, and the list go on. With the exception of Reverend Mesla, Reverend Moses T. and a few others, most of the people just listed above have gone home to rest with the Lord. We can say with all certainty that Reverend Betty Gay has received one of the most tremendous welcomes as she entered into heaven. In addition to the close bond and friendship she established with those with whom she worked, she also inspired, led, and trained several ministers of the gospel to continue her ministry. She was an apostle of love. Among other gay spiritual children, are uh, Reverend and Mother Emmanuel K. Zedeswinia, Reverend Rebecca Quartes, Reverend Module Wondi, 
Reverend Ida Gobo, Reverend Apostle Gibson Myers, Reverend Marion Dawayu Salif the second, Reverend Rebecca Myers, the late Rufa Dwayne, and the late Sobu Blebi, etc. Reverend Bedeke dedicated her life to the service of God and her fellow men. Every man was a brother and every woman or sister. Her heart and her arms were open to everyone. She was an embodiment of what a Christian should be. She loved God with all her heart, with all her mind, and with all her soul. And she loved her fellow man just as she loved herself. If not more, recipe mother of all, you will truly be this. Jesus, my goodness. Thank you for having a beautiful seat. Thank you. While the English mass fire is getting prepared, I will call on the Richard Bagno to introduce the God, the preacher for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the speaker for tonight is the senior pastor for Matthew and Summers of God Church. The wife of the senior pastor for Eden Chapel, that is Reverend Clement Eckstein. Tonight, after the wonderful voices of our pastor, the next voice we hear is the voice of Reverend Brother Reverend Eckstein. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. The choir tonight will be watching me. Celebrating the home court of our mother. You know, uh, we are very close to the DS family. We are close to the boy in Monrovia. See my sister patient on the Tito, Shedra. Only the story to you guys. In Jesus' name.
Jesus. Amen. Then we will eat hamburgers. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because of time, please permit me to stand on existing multiple. I bless our God Almighty who has granted me a privilege to share this word on this memorable day or occasion. I feel humbled to give or to deliver this discourse of a woman fashioned by God, a mighty warrior. A mighty hero, God's mighty woman, in Jesus' name. At this time, I'll ask my father, Reverend Jeremiah, that you will pray. Okay, I close. Precious Father, we thank you tonight again. We will love to God, our Savior Jesus, in your name. Father God, you will call yourself to rest, and we all hear again to have yourself to stand and preach to us tonight and give you your message to God and Abraham. So we want you to help us, make us to pay attention to what you're going to say to us tonight and have any fun, and the message will go through our soul and live for you all the days of our life until you come back again. Thank you, Dan, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. There's a verse in the Psalm of Life that says, Lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives of nine and departing these behind us footprints on a sense of time. One of the day was greatly inspired by great men and women of God, like Mary Celia, as it has already been mentioned, John Fallon. Sarah Ralph, Jesse Brown, so on and so forth. She walked in her footprint and made her life of God, or improved, or exalted, purified, dignified, and has departed, leaving behind footprints on the sense of time. Footprints that we must endeavor to follow in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible tells us that Jesus' coming will be sudden, uncertain, unknown, like a thief coming. Therefore, we must be ready for it. Close came suddenly upon the people in Noah's day. So shall Christ coming be like a flash of lightning coming in the clouds or calling us home in death. Christ wants us to be watchful and ready. Ready for death, ready to meet him in the clouds. Our natural life, though valuable, is very brief. It's the full room for eternity. When you pass the test, you go to heaven. When you fail the test, you go to hell. Life is also a seed time for eternity. What you plant here in this life, will be harvested in eternity. What a challenge to keep us awake and walking. Mother Betty Day was prepared, ready, and has gone to her eternal rewards. She died a Christian death. Tonight, we share on the topic of Christian death in Jesus' name. Amen. Our text is from John chapter 14, 1 to 3. I believe it's a very favorite verse for our mother. <laughs> Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And where I am, there ye may be also in Jesus' name. Amen. The Christian death 
if they are prepared, peaceful, profitable, and precious to them. And everyone should be prepared to die as a child of God in Jesus' name. They are prepared them. This death we are talking about is planned by God Himself in Jesus' name. In Jesus' lovely name. Amen. And our mother, she held on to the voice in John 14, 1 to 3, where God talked about the death or the place he has prepared for those who love him when they live this life. She talked much about the place for interest and affections were on the prepared place. She lived and died with the hope of a prepared place in Jesus' name. Amen. It's not an accident to go when a Christian dies because his death is prepared by God in Jesus' name. Amen. Heaven's angels wait to welcome the Christian home. Jesus himself waits to welcome the Christian home too. That's not a scene in the Bible. When he was dying, he saw Jesus at the Father's right hand and through the place of glory, down the streets of gold, Match the hero of the Lord, like our world of today. And I believe, when Stephen met the Savior, Jesus smiled and said, My child, welcome home, in Jesus' name. Amen. So our mother received a round of welcome of our Savior. All of that is a preparation for a little step. We prepare for many things in life. During the dry season, we prepare for, prepare for rainy season. We prepare for time of hunger. We prepare for many celebrations. But the greatest preparation in life is to prepare for death in Jesus' name. Amen. The Christian needs, or everyone needs, to prepare personally for death. And this preparation is done while you are living. Amos 4 12 says, prepare to meet your God. The preparation needed is true repentance, sound conversion, faithfulness to God, and lack of obedient service to God. And more of that is prepared well. There's a saying that no stranger comes unawares to one who keeps a constant table. It means if you have your room and you always have something set aside for strangers, if you have food set aside for strangers, you have room set aside for strangers, when strangers comes, you are not afraid. You are very confident. It does not take you by surprise. And so, mother, Kept a constant table, physically and spiritually. Amen. She always had something on the table for any stranger that came to her home, whether by night or day, in Jesus' name. Amen. And spiritually too, she labored for her master constantly and faithfully, never allowing anything between her and her Savior, in Jesus' name. She kept the way clear. She searched God wholeheartedly beyond all questions in Jesus' name. She humbly searched missionaries, pastors, leaders, members, and even unbelievers. She always sought the good of others. Always thought to give honor to whom honor is due. Like the Apostle Paul, she was not disobedient to the heavenly vision in Jesus' name. If you have time, you can read First Thessalonians 1 8. And you see what I'm talking about here. There's a story about two men. One was a devout Christian, and the other was an atheist. This devout Christian, every Saturday, we pass by the way of this atheist to go to service, to go to church. Since there was a little distance from his town, from his village, so he, he started to go Saturday then, he sleep and Sunday morning, he would be one time to be in service. 
every day, time after time, sometimes you will speak to the, to the atheist and you will answer him. The atheist saw him pass constantly. Then one time, this man went to service. Each time he goes, he will come back morning, morning. But the atheist watched, he could not see the old man coming home. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. He said, oh, what happened to the old man? So the old man was a shoemaker. He went to the shop to ask the children, where is your father? He said, our father went to obtain a revival. Because of the resistance, so he decided to stay there until the revival ends before he will come back. He said, I will go and see where you can go every day. Go to this place and ask for where they were having the revival. He went into the service. First time in his life. After the message, there was an altar call and he walked to the altar to give his life to Jesus, in Jesus' name. Amen. So after the service of over, the pastor walked to him and said, we know you, we know your reputation in the state that you are empty. Absolutely infidel, unbelievable. What moved you to come to church today? Is it not, was it my message? To, to come to the altar, was it my message? He said, no. The father son go. Give me chance, I will tell you. He said, there's an old man here, a shoemaker, to raise the name of Jesus. Who walked with Christ? He said, walk Christ. He was a walking Christian. He said, because of this man's faithfulness, constantly coming to church, a group to come to the act of my life in Jesus. For his life preached in Jesus' name. Amen. A lifespan of day for God is surely not a waste. It's very dangerous to be through the preparation for death. Life has no meaning without any preparation for death. Hebrews 9 to the 7 says, Death is an appointment and everyone must face it. After death, there is judgment. This is a solid event that no man can escape. All men are must face it. There's an epitaph that will read that was found in a graveyard in England. An epitaph is an inscription on a gravestone in memory of the deceased or a poem or text written to remember the deceased. It reads, I have seen, I have repented, I have trusted, I have loved, I rest. I shall rise, I shall reign, in Jesus' name. Amen. Good preparation for death, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Christian death is a peaceful death. Some of the says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. There's some of the things the old pastor says, I fear no evil, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, in Jesus' name. Amen. No fear, because a dog has an all fear. No fear of the future. And Jesus is there. The Son of God says, because he lives and he lives tomorrow. The Christian love Jesus in life and love in death. Death has no terror for one who is caught by the blood of Jesus. The constant victory of the grave is gone. The Christian has confidence in life and in death because Jesus offers hope for this life and the life to come. Job 19 to the Bible says, for 26 says, after my skin is destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God in Jesus' name. What a great confidence. The preaching is peaceful about death because of the hope of resurrection and eternal life of God. That's the message we love believe. We the believers, the believers who died, will rise with Christ. They will rise with with Christ and those who are born will come to, to, to Jesus, to, to the earth. They will come to Christ in the clouds and those who are born will rise to meet him. So this is a source of peace in death, in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus is the resurrection of the life. Yeah. Jacob in the Bible died worshiping God. He died a peaceful death. Simeon. And Christ was born and was carried into the temple. He said, Lord, let your servant depart in peace. Our peace 
spoke that for Phil, his promise to see you. See me died peacefully. Psalm 37, verse 37 says, Mind the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Death to the Christian is sleep. Because it comes at the end of the day. Death is sleep because it's separation of soul and spirit. Death is sleep because it's followed by a glorious, everlasting awakening. We wake up to a new and glorious life. Let's prepare ourselves to sleep in Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Christian death is a profitable death. Profitable to God because heaven gains and hell loses. Heaven has been because our mother has gone to be with the Lord. Christ did not die in vain. So death is profitable to God. Victory is born over Satan and hell. Death is also profitable to man because the Christian's labor is not in vain. The Christian receives a welcome and a rouse to one. The Christian receives rewards. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, but God has prepared for those who love him. God has great and good things in store for those who love him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Scripture that it teaches that there will be future rewards. Revelation 2 10 says, Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. Who we'll reap what we sow. How are you planning to be God? Are you planning with a handful of sheaves? The song of God said, Bring me in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing. Bring me in the sheaves. And that is what Mother Belly did for God, and she won. Going to be her Savior with a handful of sheaves in Jesus' name. Amen. The souls she won from Christ are the sheaves that she has carried to be her Lord in Jesus' name. All are you going and taking them? Now is the time to sow. Now, this life is a sowing time for all. Eternity will be a long harvest in Jesus' name. The Christian death is a precious death. Psalm 116 by 17. God indeed is glorified in the death of a Christian. God does not have pleasure in the death of a sinner. Because of rejecting Jesus, God's anger or wrath remains on the sinner. He dies hopeless and honor God's terrible wrath. So, the call today is to escape this wrath by accepting Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. A Christless life is a meaningless life. The Christian death is precious. It is an entry into God's Presence, precious to God who delights in fellowship with men. To die a precious death is to keep the way clear between you and God. Let nothing come between you, your soul, and the Savior. The last years of Mother's life demonstrated this too. She avoided foolish talks, gossip, gossip, and gossip. When Mother reached and he tried to bring someone in to gossip, then she would sing a song. She would not raise a song to, to cut you off. Or she would say, let's pray. If she does not pray, she would start walking away going. Because she didn't want to gossip in Jesus' name. She didn't want to get involved in foolish talking in Jesus' name. Amen. Live for Jesus day after day in total obedience. When you live for Jesus and die in Him, your death becomes a Christian death. Prepared, peaceful, profitable, and precious. May God bless us for our Father, we thank you for this evening for the grace you have given us to be here to celebrate the whole point of your servant our mother, our mentor, oh God, we thank you for your world. Bless your world for our ask to glorify your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your honor to the Lord Jesus. All right, we're going to meet your brother. It's time now for treatment.
So I need the list now for the pastor to bring the list. The churches from the full Garden Church Harbor. The information I received. I'll be calling on billion twenty. For two or I don't know. We will observe time. Billion, Mr. Billion, for attending this time and pay a tribute to him. Same. In Jesus' name. Okay, I am Gideon B. Tenty, and uh, I am a member of the Gideon Gospel Artist. Um, quite recently, about a month ago, this organization was established by one of our brother, Brother Gideon Boy, and uh, one of our sister, Sister Pudi, in America. So this organization got together. Next morning, then we, the organization quickly decided to, to do three of Mother, the late Mother Bedingue songs that she normally do and so we did, we did those songs like in two or three days we were able to do those songs quickly place them we, the songs were sent from America we did it from Swedro or anything like that and so they mandated me that this song should be presented to the church, Good News, Assemblies of God Church, and uh, Good News will now present the song to the children. Then we also have a verse that they also mandated me to present. Uh, it's the man of, it's supposed to have been 250 US dollars, but another is pending, so I have here two. 107 US dollars that will be presented to the children. <laughs> then, uh, on behalf of the, 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 I have a lot of scripts to read, but I think these scripts will be read in Bible Town. I think I have to make change to go to Bible Town to read the scripts. So, on behalf of the, the Gideon Gospel artists, we want to present this song on this little scene to the same pastor of Good News Assemblies of God Church on behalf of the Gideon Gospel artists. Most of our artists are in America, the others are in Morovia, and few are here in Mary Gideon. So quickly, you just listen to the song that we did that our tribute song on behalf of Jesus, God's for artists. Thank you, and may God bless all of us.
Amen. Please, I want to appeal to everybody. This is everything I'm about to call. Thank you. 
Barra, we have or those who are there in a day. For those of you who will not go to us in Babylon organization, if any, for tribute, we move on to institutions. Institutions are uh, uh, pastors. One of the grand Christian council, the you please come with me? We are here tonight. Every relationship has a connection. Uh, this family, the Gates family, you can remember some back in 1987, 88, one of the songs that I wear. A book of Washington. And from that point, after the war, the government to the Ivory Coast and Ghana, Nigeria, Menlo, to the North well. And again, we are back in Liberia tonight. We want to speak on behalf of the Christians of Grand Chile, the other children, the siblings that are led here. Brothers and sisters, and everyone here want you to take heart. Your mother, your sister, your aunt, she has served the Lord. And we have to follow suit. There was one time when Apostle Paul said, imitate me then just as I imitate Christ. We want to do this time to say, take solace in the Lord. Brother Johnny B. And the Lord bless you. This is your brother from the book of Washington, way back in line. I wish God bless for all of you. The Christian Council of Grand Kilo said, you receive a blessing from above. You are in and out. May the Lord confirm the strength of you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Well, I've been seeing my information. There are other people that have paid a tribute in Babylon town. So, at this time, we take a seven We have seven minutes of tribute. Babylon town. Quickly, we will call up on the Reverend, the Reverend Tia Winozu, who will pray the prayer of consolation for the seventh day. The immediate family, the rest of all the people please stand. The immediate family, as we pray along with them tonight, for God to believe the Spirit. Come for the peace for their lives. Father in heaven tonight, we have come, O oh God, to bring along with our brethren. It's not an easy thing, O oh Father, for your loved one to leave you physically, but spiritually we have benefits. The Bible says, to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. Tonight we commit the children. Everyone connected to the following hearing of oh God tonight. We pray for them, O oh Father, that your shall glory, that your dominion power, God will shower their lives in the name of Jesus. Even God be an in and out, everything they will be doing during the period of oh Father, the Lord will lead them through. You will comfort them, O oh God. You will give them a spirit of unity. Father, even I pray that there was something in the midst. Lord, at the time when the mother was living, even as she had gone to rest, the children are left back here. All the relatives, oh Father, if there is any division, go at the point of time. We pray, Father, for that spirit of unity, oh God, to come in your midst in the name of Jesus. Let peace continue to reign. 
every obstacle, Lord, that want to enter in your midst because of the absence of your son and I pray tonight. We turn our family and favor God. That also will turn to miracle. Let your divine favor rest over your life. Let peace go through the rain. Lord, thank you, Lord, tonight for them. Take charge, take glory, take dominion, take absolute control. In Jesus' mighty name, we are proud thanksgiving. Amen and amen. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus tonight. Now we are set. We can all smile and do whatever because I wish. Our aim and objective have been met tonight. So we want to tell God thank you. Everybody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good. Immediately I will sign in. The stage will be called the Apostle Brother Moses. We will be doing a song and outdoor singing. Then there's no last Tomorrow morning, all road lead to Baba City. Hello, Bata Kapo, Oyakwa, and Eka Oguru. You are the top of that. Then on the Oguri, and the Oguri down. Cruise, and the Oguri, on the Oguri, and the Oguri, and the Oguri. We sleep there, Saturday, we lay our mother to rest, and then by Sunday, we'll be clamorous. The church end will be clamorous. If the family want to continue from Sunday, no problem. But for the church, Sunday is the last day for the church, Sunday. From Sunday going, if the family want to continue, God bless you. But for the church, Sunday, back to Zwemi. Thank you. Friend of God, we'll be the superintendent, there we go. Okay, thank you. Um, before my mother passed, she sang the last song. Um, that song is part of my album. The song says that Jesus is coming back soon. Are you going to be in that level? Are you ready to leave the level? And she always sings this song in crown. But I sang it in French and English. Okay.
Namen in Kabata, in Lombok und Kabata, der in Rana Pee, so, please go with us, come out of us, and give the fellowship together, in Jesus' name. So, our mothers, who did the cooking today? We say, God bless you. May the Lord speak to you. May the Lord meet your heart desire. God bless you. And all of you who have worked hard, say, God bless you also. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Let's just have in heaven. The angel proved to us that this is the seven of the four of the rest. And so everything unfolds. We thank you for the time we spent here this evening. We thank you for everything that has been done in our world. It is never all one thing is concluded. And so Lord, we are now leaving your presence to pray that you will continue to bless us with the completion of this program in our world. And we thank you in Jesus' name.